Here we are, Alma Moon, Bookie Mm-hmm. It's different from Ding Dong Dell, huh? Well, of course it flipping is. It's slap bang in the middle of the desert for a start. Mmm. What's that delicious smell? That's the babanas, isn't it? Babanas are what Alma Moon's famous for, see? Never eaten a fruit like it. Gorgeous they are. Tell you what, I'm starving. Fancy a babana split? Really? They're that good, huh? Wow. Too flippin' right they are. This place was built on the babana trade. There's tasty fruit. Okay, let's try some.
Excuse me, are you Mr. Rashad? Yes, I am. Mr. Rashad, sir, I need you to teach me magic. I need you to teach me the most powerful spells there are, so I can defeat Shadar. Defeat Shadar? You? Yes, sir. Your journey has been wasted. I no longer practice the magic arts. Huh? But why not? I thought you were one of the four great sages who knows everything there is to know about magic. It matters not what I was. I use magic no more. Is she... What do you want? Who are you? Jeepers. The poor thing's broken-hearted, looks like. <sighs> Shudar stole a piece of her heart. It was my fault. I defied him, and to punish me, he did this. That is why I fight no longer. I cannot risk my child's life. I will not. We must accept our fate and live out our days in peace. Mr. Rashad, sir, you're wrong. She wouldn't want this. <clears throat> She's not in pain because a piece of her heart was stolen. It's because... You gave up fighting. Because you gave up on everything. That's why she's in pain. Hmm. You are sure of this? Yes, I am. I see. I see now that you would say anything to enlist my aid. Huh? Be gone! Leave us in peace. You're making a mistake. I wasn't trying to... Well, he wasn't wrong. It looks like Shadar's stolen a part of the poor dab's heart. Then we have to help her. We have to make her heart whole again. Nah, looks like I said this is different. Huh? Her heart's not just broken, it's closed. Closed? What does that mean? It's like this, see? She's not just had a part of her heart stolen, she's closed it up tight too, to keep the rest safe like. So, before we can think about replacing what's missing, we'll have to open it back up again, innit? And how do we do that? We go to your world. If we find whoever she's connected to by there, we can work out what's going on with her by her. So we head over your way and find her soulmate. All right, let's do it. Right, though. Back to your world it is.
Who are you? My name's Oliver. Don't worry, I'm not crazy. I'm a kid from right here in Motorville. Just like you. I know. I've seen you. You have? I'm sick. I can't leave this room. If I go outside, it hurts. So all I can do is look out at the world from my window. That's why they call us Steady Mary. Shh! Don't worry, man. No one can hear me but you. I can talk as loud as I want! Yes, that's why they call me Steady Mary. Huh? Tricky! Can she hear me? That's what they call me around here. But you knew that already, huh? Uh, uh, I... I bet you think I'm weird, don't you? No, I, I don't. It's okay. I don't mind. You should go before my father comes home. Uh... Oi, come here a sec. This is proper weird. I've looked as hard as I know how, but she doesn't seem sick at all. She's as fit as a fiddle, in fact. You mean, you can tell? I'm Lord High Lord of the Fairies, and I, of course I can tell. So what is wrong with her? Well, whatever sickness she had might be gone, but something still got a hold over the poor dam. Hmm. What is it? Oh, um, nothing. I'm gonna come see you again. Okay, Myrtle? Huh? Well, if you can't leave your room, I'll come to you instead. That way we can be friends. How does that sound? Oliver... You can't. Huh? My father won't allow it. You should leave. But Myrtle...
sorry, Mom. 